Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we're taking two bourbons that are virtually identical, but also different, and we're putting them head to head, face to face, cork to cork, tip to tip, and we're going to find out which Remus Repeal Reserve deserves the title of the best before this year, Remus Repeal Reserve number three was known by most to be the best Remus available ever. And then 2021 rolls around. Everything sucks. Everything's terrible. Nothing's good. Everybody's fighting. The world's divided. But then all of a sudden, Remus Repeal 5 is released. And it's a son of a beast. We thought everything was better. Everything was going back to normal. We could all agree on one thing. <gasps> Wrong. The world's still divided. Half the people are saying Remus Repeal 3 is the way to be. The other half says Remus 5 is what it's like to be alive. So it's up to me, Matt. World's top whiskey taster. ADHD whiskey. Long shong ding dong on opposite day. To determine which Remus Repeal deserve deserves the title of Best Remus. It's time for a bourbon skirmish. Bring in bourbon skirmish time. Remus Repeal Reserve number three is 100 proof. It's the 2019 Medley. This is a mix of the MGP mash bills ranging between 11 and 12 years old. Hint, America. Remus Repeal three will go in glass A. Remus Repeal 5, also 100 proof, also a blend of the MGP mash bills. The 2021 blend is between 13 and 16 years old. Good griefus. America. Remus 5 is going in glass B. Oh, fuck face. Spin them around. Click at a clock. Look at that stack. We have the two Remuses confused. What the heck? Where's that? Hair. Somewhere. I should probably also correct myself because I mentioned that Remus was an MGP product and it kind of is but also kind of not mgp just renamed themselves they had a midlife crisis and they had to rename themselves so from here on out mgp is called ross and chandler or ross and phoebe something like that but it's no longer mgp even though we will always refer to it as MGP. Ask the Willis Tower how that name change is working out for it. Spoiler alert. Actually, I don't even know. Do people still call it the Sears Tower or did, did, they, did they make the change and suck it up and just start calling it the Willis Tower? The Willis Tower sounds stupid, to be honest. That sounds like a store brand skyscraper. Let's get down to the bourbon skirmish. First class. MGP, I'm sorry. Ross and Chandler. Hmm. Sugared strawberries. Like, um, mm -hmm. this is like a homemade strawberry jam before it was a jam. It's just mushed together strawberries and sugar. This reminds me of picking strawberries at the Ostonic Farm in Trenary, Michigan when I was little. You could go to the farm and pick strawberries yourself, or you could go there and buy strawberries that were already picked. Pretty standard strawberry farm. My friend in high school worked there, picking strawberries for the farm, and the boss came out one day to the strawberry field and said, hey Jason, nobody works on their knees around here, come on. And Jason said, except for your wife. And then Jason didn't work at the strawberry farm anymore. Strawberry cream saver sugar, yeah. Skittles. Some Skittle action in there. All right, let's go for a taste of glass number one. Mm. 
that is so good. That is so good. Oh, yes. Sweet and oaky and lovely creamy vanilla. It's like a super, it's always oh, like a Nesquik, like a strawberry Nesquik that you would get as a kid. It came in a can and you scooped it and you put it in the milk and you stirred it. You stirred it, you just swirled it and stir, stir, stirred it. If the Nesquik strawberry would get you slammered if you drank a whole glass of it. Glass number one is ridiculous. Coats the mouth really well. Finish is fantastic. Matter of fact, the finish is still going. Cruising right along to glass number two. Glass number two. More potent. More cola-like. More cola-y. More oaky. An oak presence surrounds us with glass number two. It smells like a, a, a red fruit concentrate. It's a fat, thick red fruit concentrate with a bunch of sugar and alcohol added to it. A little bit of bubble gum, like a, like a, a red Big League Chew. Like you just opened a bag of Big League Chew. I do like the nose on glass number two a lot. All right, let's go for a sip of glass number two. See how she do. Based off the pungency of the nose, the overall powerful, concentrated nose fragrance, I was expecting the palette to do more dancing. Glass number one is like, you just cracked Coca-Cola, and glass number two is like, you left that glass of Coca-Cola open and on your coffee table for 16 days. I feel like glass number one was like, hello, and glass number two just woke up from a six hour nap. Glass one, nice. Glass two, nice. Hmm. 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 Now let's try glass one again. Mm. Oh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Michael Johnson, Michael Scott. Oh, that is good. That is nice. This bourbon skirmish has been stopped at one minute, 11 seconds into round number one, declaring the winner by shoulder strikes into a crescent kick, resulting in a rolling omoplata the winner tonight, glass number one. Glass number one is the winner, and let's do the reveal. Glass number one is letter A, which is three. I did not see that coming. That's what she said. I did not see that coming. Hmm. This is unprecedented and something that I've never done before, which would mean unprecedented. We're doing an immediate rematch. Remus 3, America, is going in glass A. Remus 5 is going in B. Now we're mixing them up again. Mix them up. Mix them up. Mix, mix them up. 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 They're mixed up. Glass number one. New glass number two. Ooh. Glass number one. Glass number two. This time around, I prefer glass number two. Glass number two is letter A. That's twice in a row. That's twice in a row. Remus three beat out Remus five twice in a row. Inconceivable, inconceivable. If you have these two bottles, do the same comparison. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so. Leave a comment below. 
Did you do the comparison? And what do you think? What do you think? Did I get it right or wrong? Probably wrong. But then again, wrong is my middle name. <laughs>